How's it going, YouTube? Botanical Explorations. It's Matt. We're back at it again. We're on another adventure, and I'm here to show you two plants in the Southwest Florida wilderness you can use for your advantage. And we're going to find them, and I'm going to show you how you can use them. Let's go. All right, guys. So the first plant I want to talk about is salt palmetto. Sorry the sun's out our back, but we're walking up to a salt palmetto plant. Now, what you want to do is you want to find a young salt palmetto. You can pull the new shoots of salt palmetto plants that are young and you can eat the end stalk. So I'm going to show you how to do that right All now. Alright, so here's your young salt palmetto. Now what you want to do guys, is you want to find a salt palmetto that's young, but you also want to find one with a shoot that is pretty much opened up but barely sticking out of the ground. Okay, that's going to let you actually pull it out of the ground. Ready? So as you can see, this is nice white end. See how it turns green to white? Well, guess what? You just take this bit right there. Mm. Nice and sweet. Lots of fiber. Now, the other thing you do is this. Now, the younger they are, The more you can actually like bite off. They're a little bit older. Just chew on them. Huh. Bomb kind. Now some of you may be asking, how do I know when it's done? Well, when it looks like that, it's done. Uh -huh. There's nothing in that. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. addicting now. So, let's go on to dog fennel. Natural bug repellent, let's find some, show you how to use it. Woo wee! All right, so I've been walking around this preserve for about an hour now looking for this. I was afraid we were gonna be able to find it before the light went down, but luckily we found some dog fennel. So, dog fennel is native throughout the southeastern United States. It's a plant that grows in marshy, low-lying uh, areas. It doesn't like to be in raised areas. Um, so even if you're in um, you know, the southeastern United States, you want to go to where there's either lakes or places that flood. And in the dry season, you'll see dog fennel taking up residence in that area. Now, dog fennel can grow up to around three feet tall. It'll be a very bushy plant, and it has needles for leaves. Uh, it has no branches. It's a herbaceous plant. And the smell is similar to citronella. It's uh, pretty potent. And the natives of uh, the southeast United States use this plant for bug repellent. Uh, if you want to make a sprayable version, you could take it and put it in some light alcohol solution and make an extraction, put it in a spray bottle, spray it on your clothes, your backpacking gear, use it for that. I just like taking a, you know, a good piece of it, bigger than this of course, uh, taking it, rubbing it uh, in your hands to get it kind of... Uh, perforated, get the scent going, and then rub it on your skin, uh, your legs, and, and around your neck. Now, <clears throat> you do want to be careful when you use dog fennel for the seat reason that um, it has these little hairs on it like tomato plants. So you don't want to grab the stalk of the plant and rub it all over your body. You want to grab the very outer needles hanging off the end of the plant and grab those, collect them, and then make a little ball and rub it on your skin. Um, if, you know, you might be allergic to it, so, you know, I would touch it a little bit if you've never experienced it before and make sure you don't have a reaction. Um, I, like I said, I just like rubbing it on my skin to use it. It's a very effective bug repellent. It'll last usually at least for 30 minutes to an hour if you're not sweating a lot. Uh, another plant I wanted to show you while we were out here, guys, um, and a lot of you may not know this, if you're into herbalism, you may have heard of the plant called Go To Cola. Now, goju cola is a energy and mental stimulation herb. It's very good for your mind, and it is native to the southeastern United States as well. And you can find it, again, in swampy areas. It looks like this, and it can be a little bit bigger than this, but, you know, it'll just be growing out of the ground as such in, you know, continuous roots. Um, I do not eat, you know, any wild edibles I just randomly find for the reason it could have you know, environmental toxins in them or whatnot, guys. But 
um, it's always good to practice uh, identifying uh, useful plants and knowing where they are and how to locate them. So, uh, you know, uh, I think they're useful tools. So, thanks for joining us today. This has been Botanical Exploration, guys. I'm Matt. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and I hope it gives you something to tell other people about. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.